ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਮੇਰੇ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਪਿਆਰ ਭਰੀ ਸਤ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਗਾਇਸ ਵੀ ਗੋਟ ਸਮ ਰੀਲੀ ਗੁੱਡ ਨਿਊਜ਼ ਅਮ ਆ ਮੇਬੀ ਸਮ ਬੈਡ ਨਿਊਜ਼ ਐਸ ਵੈਲ ਫॉर ਸਮ ਆਦਰ ਪੀਪਲ ਵਾਚਿੰਗ ਬਟ ਅਮ ਵੀ ਗੋਟ ਸਮ ਰੀਲੀ ਗੁੱਡ ਨਿਊਜ਼ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਸਟੂਡੀਓ ਟੁਡੇ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਹੇਅਰ ਇਨ ਡਾਰਬੀ ਰਾਉਂਡ ਦ ਕੋਰਨਰ ਫਰਮ ਮਾਈ ਹਾਊਸ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਐਟ ਮਾਈ ਸਟਾਰਸ ਹਾਊਸ ਵਿਚ ਇਜ਼ ਆਰ ਸਟੂਡੀਓਸ ਹੈਡ ਸ਼ਾਪ ਪ੍ਰੋਡਕਸ਼ਨਸ ਅਮ ਸੋ ਸਾਡੇ ਵੱਡਾ ਵੀਰ ਮੇਰਾ ਸੁਖਜੀਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਔਲਖ ਮੇਰੇ ਉਸਤਾਦ ਜੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਘਰ ਬੈਠੇ ਆ ਅੱਜ ਤੋਂ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਥੋੜੇ ਠਹਿਰ ਕੇ ਦੱਸਦੇ ਆ ਪਰ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਨੀ ਆ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਸਾਡੀ ਐਲਬਮ ਨਿਕਲੀ ਸੀਗੀ 2011 ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਗੱਬਰੂ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਦਾ ਅਗਰ ਇਹ ਆ ਨਿਕਲੀ ਸੀਗੀ 2011 ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਗੱਬਰੂ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਦਾ ਸਾਰੇ ਕੱਲੇ ਕੱਲੇ ਗਾਣੇ ਐਵਰੀ ਸੌਂਗ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਬਿਆਹਾਂ ਤੇ ਆਲ ਦਾ ਗਿਗਸ ਕਾਜ ਯੂ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਸੋ ਵਨ ਸੇ ਦਿਲੋਂ ਤੈ ਦਿਲੋਂ ਧੰਨਵਾਦ ਆ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇੰਨਾ ਪਿਆਰ ਦਿੱਤਾ it does so genuinely so god never even thought about we would get this much love and we would get this sort of response but you guys have been you know great Yo, check it out so we we in Derby right now uh, driving about um uh, going on a cruise for this uh, video that we're making right now and we got Mr Frenzy that's filming this we got Taj in the car Mr TL and then we got Mr True School Sajid Singh driving the car and um yeah so basically we just um do some put take cam now we always do just driving about it they jado gabburu punjab da album bani si ki aithe assi gaddi ch ghumde si ke coming up with some ideas you know ki kitta de gaane banaye ha should the next song be and you know that's what we do we're just driving about or just chilling out so sade staff ji uh, sukhjeet singh alk um you know i've known sukhi rambia harry the whole family since i was like 5 or 6 years old i remember we used to go boxing at the community center local i think all the the derby lads used to go to this one place you know and um, i've known the whole family but jadon assi shuru kita um geet sangeet um sikhna um astad ji ko oh se ka 2000 de vich um teaching him was a crazy crazy journey because he's my first student i mean I, i've got a school i teach you know there's a good 30 30 people that i teach but him being the first was a uh, after teaching him I kind of made created a syllabus of how to teach someone how to sing Punjabi songs so it was like you know it was like you see in these chinese films and you know <laughs> how you how someone just starts from zero and go through some crazy uh experiences and you know the way the album was received it he deserved that um response for all the hard work and effort he put in over the years the album we start kind of it was weird because it was all done in different times and everything i know gobru pinjala came out in 2008 but we actually started working on it in 2006 2007 so um i know suki true school was uh, he was living at one house and then we moved to another house so it was a bit of a a bit of a delay so yeah so then the car only bothered so um, uh, but um, yeah it was done around 2006 2007 i remember that time yeah all of him gaane shuru karte likhne da and i wrote gabru punjab at that time and all the masukhi ne dikhaya ja ke and i was like look so what do you think i showed some of manjeet samra apna writer hai to darbi to onu bhi ja ke dikhaya showed him as well and um one help ki thi and then i showed sukh the track and he was like um yeah man but ye geet and then we i remember recording it in uh, 2007 um at sir thomas's road where sukhi was first living his first house where we all used to chill and um yeah that's where it all started and that's where it all began I was working on a raw folk and there was a song on there called Jewel to the Nile um and I've made various versions of that but um I was just kind of taking the mic and so let's do a, a Bangla fired version you know dull and a bit of the typical sort of music 
Jet started messing about. He started singing the words to Gobble Up and Dab that to that beat that I made, which was like, I mean, I literally made something in 15 minutes. And I was like, yo, that, that goes, you know, like, and Jet had wrote the song himself anyway. So it was like, and I was like, do you want to put that on there? I mean, it was never planned that the music was supposed to be like that. And he's like, yeah, let's try it. So that's how, that's how that song happened. You know, I remember when we started uh, the album, Gobble Up and Dab that, the first thing we did was go to the Gurdwara before he did his vocal. We went to the Gurdwara, Matateke, you know, and it's these things that I feel gives us the blessing and gives us that the, that push. Then, um, so guys, you know what? Jinni be support the numel sakadi hoti ni chahi diya. So we went to the Gurdwara. Papa ke ardas ki diya, Papa. Ek field the vechon lagge, pair pawn lagge ya, hamesha sade naal rana. So you know, Ashir baar reya. But they are not so much. So, main main is very much. But the other thing is that 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 the and they were released with uh, different record labels but at that time um, Suki was speaking to VIP Records uh, uh, Mr Vips uh, from Scotland with Vips it was like um, you know we thought you know what and he, he had his record company going uh, for a long long time and we were happy with the deal um, you know he was going to make several videos um, you know and he, he had faith in the product and he wanted to push it and uh, you know I saw that light in him and we all did so we thought you know well, let's go with Vips. It was me that decided Gabru Punjab that which should be the starting single because for me I knew that personally I knew that was never going to be the best song on the album for some people for some people it is their favourite song but for me I thought there's going to be better songs on that so let's make them think that let's make the viewers think that this is the best we've got to offer from this new artist. But I just knew people would like it. I just had this feeling. I thought, you know what? I just had this vision of uh, halfway through the video when he does the hake in the middle of the song, you just come out with a totally early bug and people are gonna think, okay, this is, uh, who is this guy? You know, I was just about making people say, who is this? And that's exactly what happened. People were like, who is this? Vocal jada kar de sege, ta cover de bech. We were in a wardrobe, man. <laughs> we uh, we got a, we got really good mics. We got proper technology, you know. Taj will tell you good computers and everything. But jada vocal kar na sega, cover de bech baad ke. Aadi ka shirt ta, aadi ka coat ya. Oh, passe ye nu kar ke we moved it all to the side, put the mic in there, and we're singing, and you know, it was magical, man. It was magical. It was. You I, know, I remember it was that. Crazy. With me, it was quite a nerve-wracking thing for me as well because uh, obviously recording Kalavinder Jol and Garpej Barad, Deepa Satrang and Kaka Paniawala Lambert, you know, recording these people, recording, yeah, recording, and love Janjua, yeah, recording Jit, who's somebody, I, somebody who I taught, it was quite, um, it was nerve-wracking for me as well. I mean, so we took our time with the vocal. Um, I mean, because he'd, he'd been there for years of seeing the other people record so that was a massive help for him and he knew how the whole process went down and uh, recording it yeah we, we took our time with it and I remember it being a uh, you know after after cutting the vocal up and listening to it on a beat I was like yeah you know what I was even I wasn't sure does this sound good I'm asking him does this sound good he's asking me we're showing other people and was like yeah and that was the one so that was that was the start of the album yeah, I remember when we had to make the decision of, of making a music video for Gabru Punjabda, you know, we were like on video morning, you know, we never had no links with, you know, video directors and we, we didn't really know many people and then it was just our friends and, and it was our own circle that decided, you know, it was a mate of ours called Bali, we said, Bali, you're going to shoot this video with your friend from Coventry. You know, these are the locations, shoot, let's, he goes, mate, you need the way to make a you know, I don't have to edit, I know how to use a little bit of it. So we just took the risk and um, decided to make the video of Gubru Punjabda, you know, as just local heads from Derby with not many qualifications and not very professional, but, you know, Delanar, me, uh, True School, Bali, and his mate, Taj, uh, decided, you know, 
we're gonna edit the video and then I remember hours and hours we were there till late we would drive to Leicester because they were studying at Leicester and we would go and edit the footage there and then we'll come back and and it, and it wasn't very good and then we'll go back again and then um, I remember the video got finished and, and we decided to release um, I, I can remember it was someone's wedding near that time and uh, and the, the video came out in 2008 um, December, um, I think it was just about two weeks before Christmas or a week before or something and uh, yeah that was the start of um, me. Uh, the video planning was, I I think the basketball thing uh, originally that was going to be an idea for a song that it called Shagda Karabani um, that I actually sung myself, I was going to make a video for that and do that whole basketball thing which which never happened so I was like Jit will you do that but that was just a, an element of the Gabbard Pinada video. All the planning was done by JK himself because I was like, let me concentrate on the music. You concentrate on the videos and on, and on your own imaging. So the only input I had was telling him about you coming in with the bug and the basketball thing. But that video was crazy planning. There's like, if you look at the video, the amount of uh, different locations it was shot in. You know, because there was in this place, that place, and this place. It was It was mad. You know, it was really... A lot of planning done by JK, so as a team effort, collectively, um, things we were lucky that things just went right and it and it worked. You know, at that time there was a lot of singers and there was a lot of UK, um, you know, there was a lot of pop going on at that time that I remember. And, um, you know, because I'm into the proper Punjabi, you theater, Punjabi, folk, you know, you know, I, you know, I come from watching all these proper Desi films and love listening to Marnik and Jamkila and stuff, you know. I think I just had that folk and the Desi edge over a, a lot of the other singers and, and that's why it probably looked a little bit more different and I like to enjoy myself in the videos, you know, dancing about and stuff like that. So, you know, people, I think they took to it, which was a nice thing for me, you know. You know, I was quite, I was quite scared, like, are people going to like this new singer? Because there was no promo, we didn't tell people there's a new guy coming out and try and hype him up we thought forget it let's just release it and uh, people were like you know the plan that I had was hopefully people are going to turn their heads and that's exactly what happened so that felt really good that like it worked something that I planned worked you know and I remember on YouTube um, the amount of views it got it was like you know so fast people were you know watching that video you know and I was like People want to know. Gabru Punjabla came out and I remember we getting a phone call, the record company phones me, Vips phones me and, and he says, you know what, we've got a show. It was January and literally like two, three weeks later after the, the song had come out and uh, it was a booking in Wales, you know, our first show, we, we went to Wales and then I was like, so key, uh, we've only got one song. I mean, the others were nearly ready. Um, we were like, you know what, we need some more songs. We can't just go do one song at the shows, you know. And um so we decided to record this song because we had to go perform at the shows and, and the weddings and everything that we were doing at the time. Yeah, so I remember, you know, our second song came out in um, September. I remember it was like a few days after my birthday, I think. And, um, you know, Bartlea came out and... Uh, people were asking why was there such a big gap you know because Gabru Punjabla came out in December 2008 and uh, then Patalia came out you know September you know the only which a reason is that I remember when Gabru Punjabla came out you know we the record company and myself and Suki started getting phone calls you know people wanted to start booking the shows and then we got booking uh, you know very busy going to to the shows and, and trying to keep up with the media and you know got it tend to with any got it to yana and then at the same time, you know, we were trying to make the song and, you know, we were all together going on the road and so Kiwi Janda and Dasika Sardin are Pendo Pendo. And then, it's a lazy job, 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 we're proper normal guys from Derby, you know, we just like to have a laugh, we like to chill about. I remember we used to waste so much money on petrol and we used to go cruising and cruising and cruising and we would listen to songs of Marnik and all the UK singers and you know Jim Gillan you know we would spend a lot of time together and just have fun you know so all Ted that there was a lot of time I wouldn't say wasted 
but uh, there was a lot of time uh, not spent in the studio um, so that's why there was a bit of a gap in between the songs and then feel to today trend as you did that weekend the look and okay yara bob with the ekam kita you lot came out with one song and then you know you left the gap and then you came out with another song you left a big gap and then you came out with the third song so basically it 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 wasn't supposed to be like that but it just happened um like that you know um album it was supposed to be the album after go group and all but then we released patlia so basically you know go group and all was a very up tempo you know desi song si patle bhi de sega but um meri hon saadi soch ki ke you know the 90s sound um you know the producers at that time and you know the singers you know i got to say sikshinder shinda you know one of the best producers i and still is you know you got to give props and that whole sound that he had for the 90s you know i grew up listening to while i was at school i went to college and you know i remember having a little beatbox and headphones and i would be walking around school and it was such a buzz that them days you know i remember minu chaava hunda sega main apne daddy di jeb de vich ja ke paise kad ke shop ch jana shop ch ja ke main utho you know change naal gan gan ke main tapa leni ga you know what i mean and i remember there was a big craze you know the um, 90s the whole team with shinda bhai um, you know jazzy b and uh, pinda jatt uh, you know deepa satrang all them people you know the whole sound that we kind of like captured on uh, shalim that we didn't want to offend anyone it was literally all done out of love you know that was what we loved and you know a lot of people liked it and uh, obviously some people didn't like it as well but you know what can we do appa jo dil kehnda jo man kehnda oh karna chahida apni life de vich ta koi cheez adhuri na rahe eh sab to main cheez hai haanji salam undia originally was uh, started off from being a piece of music first the, the the music that you heard on the sun it was a uh, it was just me playing the keys and stuff and uh, putting the piece of music together then the song was made later so i i suppose you could say that that was the real uh, start of the album the beginning of the album all stamp pick competition market te vich bahut zyada ya hon lag paya sega kalakaran de vich kai kalakar jealousy vi karan lag paye sege kai kalakar hala sheri vi bahut ditti ohna ne jappiyan pa pa ke mailna kaiyan ne dori band kar leni ke enu mailna ni assi you know so all stamp edda hoya ke मैनू सी के यू नो एक वीडियो बनाई जाए जेदे सारी दुनिया लाइक करे जिदा जिदा असी भी लाइक करिए जिस फिल्म देखते होंगे सके उस टाइम चीना आई इश्ट लाइक वॉच इन लॉ दिस लाइक कालिया दिन फिल्म जिनू कहने से है ना बफ द रे मैनिज टू सोसायटी और थोड़ा जहा स्टाइल लैके मैं क्या सोच सोचा कि न्यूयॉर्क जाइए यू नो and uh, and then vips had some contacts यू नो वन टैपिक टू वी आई पी रेकॉर्ड्स ही हैज सम कॉन्टैक्ट्स इन न्यूयॉर्क and uh, feel take a munda sega nani rena because everyone's going to start going to him and then start making videos with him na but othe banda sega one video banai ta you know when we made that video it was you know bomb pataka si jani ke mere saab de naal i don't know what everyone asked to but i really loved and enjoyed that video i remember going out to new york flying out with my mate and um, we were shooting running around the whole of new york and you know and it was a fun video you know the video says it all but uh, yeah it was very enjoyable chalem on dia when chalem on dia come out that uh, the the edit was actually done by jk and myself actually um not not physically that was physically done by jazz uh, burk but me and jk were the ones who were sort of directing how we want the the, the edit to look and um i was really happy with the response of that i remember having phone calls like saying oh you've took it on another level now it, it, you know compared to the videos we'd done before so uh, that was good this is my old college uh, will morton college in derby uh, same with jk um this was more like a community center dossol than a college but um this is where uh, a lot of memories this is where we used to chill and uh, think of ideas and stuff as well and like a lot of memories yeah so we're at will morton park um, i used to study at this college as well and all the bunday and all the bunday you stuff sessions here i was a good boy obviously many at the kam kite but we're here at wo morton uh, chilling yeah so just some memories really from gabru punjab like you know cuz obviously that album's always going to be close to my heart and to to everyone's heart because it was my first album and, and we, you guys gave it a lot of love you know so i just want to say you know i remember we me and and suki we were sitting in um, McDonald's having a a burger and uh, although my India to I think I think it was about 2 or 3 weeks or something and and we got some lyrics of Jan Grayawala you know legendary you know what 
one of the best writers, you know, he wrote songs for Narendra Pipa, you know, Astarji, uh, Kaldeep and Manak, um, loads of loads of singers, you know, and um, he, he gave us a song, Chut Thilare, and we were sitting in Mackey's, we were having a burger, and, and I got to say, G, Karta, record, Kariye, Yaki, Pata Ni Kata, Yara, so like, Kariye, and he was like, you know what, J, Tari feeling, yeah? Then why not? <laughs> because you know what it is normally yeah. um, with with all of our vocalists, we used, we rehearse, practice, the practice the vocals, and uh, then when we feel like it's time to record, we we'll record. But this one, it was never planned for us to be recording this like around the time when it did get recorded. So he was just there, and you know, and with it being in a higher key than some of the other songs, it was quite a, an important vocal and a, a difficult vocal to record. So. He's and he's eating McDonald's. <laughs> you know, Fries. You're not just eating, yeah, Mc, eating McDonald's before you record the vocals, but he's like, um, so I want to record a two tilari. And I was like, Are you sure? And he's like, yeah. If you reckon you can do it, and no joke, no word of a lie. Normally we take long, longer to record the vocals, but he banged that one out in 15 minutes. It, it's actually the hardest song he's sang, and it's the quickest one he, what he sang. So it, it shows that you know when you if you feel your feelings right about something, then. Uh, yeah, it can work out. I was procrastinating a lot as well. Like, I'll be working on England now to that one minute, and then I'll be like, Jit, oh, I want to cut all the hedges in the garden and cut the trees down. And so then he'll be in the garden with me, and we'll be like getting the bin and throwing grass and weeds and just like out of the blue, you know what I mean? One minute we're working the album, like, Jit, oh, I've got the carpet guy coming out, I need to pull out the, floor, the laminate flooring guy. We were doing stupid things like that, and I think it was done on purpose because I just was looking for excuses sometimes not to not to work but it all worked out for the best because the result was there the album wasn't forced it was made naturally and it it, 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 it happened when it happened kudrati jede writer sege you know naal di naal mili gaye ek munda raju sega from london i remember ekal gattiya pat de jane likhya oh munda milya and then we met manjeet samra oh he's a local lad from derby as well खास घर आया उ सो so, चन ग्राया वाला जी उन्होंने बहुत फेमस गीत लिखे आ सरवण पुत्र कुलदीप माणक जी का दुला पट्टी बहुत गाने लिखे उन्होंने सारे दे हेट हेट गीत उस टाइम के उन्होंने तो उन्होंने फिर सानू यू नो खुश हो के एक गीत लिख के दिता से झूठे लारे मित्रा लाने वाली है नहीं कि पेंड मकला बच्चे आना उन्होंने गीत लिखा सी साढ़े लिए तो बहुत उन्होंने धनवाद करते हैं बहुत ही ज़्यादा प्यार है तो हाँ जी आई थिंक एवरी कलाकार एवरी सिंगर की सोच हों कि एक गाँव जो रील बना है एक टेप बना है तो जोड़ा एक गीत हो सारे एक जे ना हो सो इट्स इंपोर्टेंट टू हैव डिफरेंट वर्स था सोंग ऑन द आओ है ना जिदा सैड सोंग होने चाहिए आ बीट सोंग होने चाहिए आ परिवारक सोंग होने चाहिए आ बह शादियों सोंग होने चाहिए आ तो फिर जोड़ा कला बंद बह के रो भी सकता उदा के भी गीत होने चाहिए आ बोलिया सभ्याचारक भी गीत होने चाहिए इट्स इंपोर्टेंट टू हैव लाइक यू नो इंग्लैंड नचता सेगा फिर पंगा पै गया सी फिर झूठे लारे जिदा बहुत डिफरेंट डिफरेंट गाने से एक तेरे करके गभरू पंजाब का पट लिया डिफरेंट डिफरेंट गीत से सो या हाँ जी माई फेवरेट सोंग ऑन द एलबम इज इज टू सोंग्स आट से वन इज जे के बोलियाँ बिकॉज इज अ प्रॉपर पंजाबी सोंग यू नो ऑन एवरी एलबम आई वेवर मेड आई ऑलवेज पुट the my favorite song at the end so i was saying to jit jit this song's going at the end and he's just like yeah whatever you feel so i always put my favorite song at the end i mean the first album i didn't get to do that was on a uh, diljit's album back to basics where uh, he chose the track order but uh, but other than that my favorite song is always at the end so jk bolnia is my favorite song on the album you just need to hear it and then you'll know that um it just represents me really and as well as jk cuz it's the same thing you know same school of thought and the other favorite song was ek tere karke because that is um a song that you know it's got a lot more depth in there musically 
and, and it's just a desi song but a different kind of desi it's not old school folk it's like from a it's like an early 90s kind of Punjabi India style music influenced by Sangtar you know um, and I just wanted people to know that that I could make music like this as well you know we actually had two songs on the, on the album like that um, but I, I just didn't have enough time to finish that song so Gabru Punjabi was actually meant to have I think 12 songs in the end you know it's like you know when they were like you know they weren't expecting a, a song like that and, you know a lot of, he could da da gita, he could da braya to see, you know. I remember it wasn't just like, you know, the fans, it was like other singers as well. I remember, you know, in grey jelly phoning and say, Baji, ta da gita, JK bowling, Baji, Wakamal, Kati, Rhythm Bray, Sukhine, ta gaya, we saw, jinda, bop pyar, ta o gita ne, par menu in ni umid ni sigi, os gane ta kyuki jodo pyaha te baja ta gita, the DJ te baja ta, club chavi anu lalo, o gita bjani ke an, taan kada, hai, so yeah. Ta question sega ke, एक प्रोड्यूसर का ते बारते आ ता इन्हीं वर्सिटेलिटी आ एल्बम दे बच्चे इन्हें डिफरेंट डिफरेंट गाने आ पर फिर भी एक आवाज दे नार एक प्रोड्यूसर का ते ए प्यार होंडा ए रेस्पेक्ट होंडी आ बंदे नो आजकल मैं देखे आ कलाकार दे बच्चे कलाकार नो ऐडा होंडा के मैं आ म्यूजिक हो भी मेरा या � जदो तो सी एक जगह टैक के नहीं बैठ सकते जिन्ना चार एक जगह प्यार नहीं था नुमाल दा उन ना चार बंदा कदे सक्सेसफुल नहीं हो सकता ये मेरी अपनी सोच है पर अपना प्यार मैं जड़ के स्ताद करना फ्रेंड करना पर हैगा मेरा बड़ा प्राया सो जो भी मेरा बड़ा भी इरकेंदा सुखी असी जद्दा भी अपने परिवार पैना सारे जाने के एक परिवार ही है सारा जाने के ब्याह शादियाँ ते पार्टियाँ ते एक दूसरे नाल जाने के एक फैमिली तरह ही है कुछ जन यू नो नहीं मीन सो ये मैं चौना सिखा के सुखी कोल एक टैलेंट या ये जो भी सोंडा या जो भी ये करता या अपने हंड्रेड परसेंट दिन दा है सो मेनु विश्वास सिखा के जेड़ा ये इतना तो गीत बना सकता है ये मेनू विश्वास सका सो ताक करके मैं सोचा है यू नो व्हाट इस नो पॉइंट गोइंग टू द प्रोड्यूसर्स व्हेन यू नो मिस्टर ट्रूस कू कैन डू ऑल दिस यू नो बीट्स ही कैन प्ले द टाबला ही कैन प्ले एवरी सिंगल इंस्ट्रूमेंट यू नो सो व्हाई वुड आई वांट टू गो and I wanted to make sure it still incorporated the hip hop sound, which I'm known for. Um, th that was a difficult thing because it had to be like that because I there was various tracks that were tried out on the album where they were pure on, on purely on a hip hop vibe. Originally, Hogia Sharabi was on a hip hop vibe, uh, with you know it was on a soul soul vibe. Uh, the music was and and it it wasn't working. So Jit immediately noticed that, so I don't think this really goes with me. And I was like, yeah, you, you're right. And it was something that I had to really, again, I had to, you know, persevere and think, how am I going to make my music go with this voice? Because that's something that is very important. I, uh, it's a producer's job that the music is tailored correctly for the, the, for, for the, the artists they're working with. So, and, you know, and still try and keep your own stamp and your own sound. So songs like Jaddu still have the true school style in England and that to that. Um, you know, it's, it's, it still had the true school sound as well. And then, you know, songs like Tere Kaki showed a new side to me. Uh, but it, it's something that was always in me from day one. And I got the opportunity to showcase that. And songs like J.K. Bolnia was something that I'd, I'd been... Uh, waiting to to showcase that sort of style and that side of me and it was a progression from album one to that album so and and the priority was to make sure this music went with jk's voice and, and you know and i'm and i'm glad people felt that it did you know i mean you know sonically the sound of gobble and Jam, that was slightly different to to the sound of my previous albums and i'd say that was because i was using a lot more uh, live material uh, me going in the studio playing the the tall double uh, R tall tune tracks like Tere Karke, um, songs like JK Bolling, you know the recording, uh, uh, my co-engineer TL Taj, um, you know we put a lot of effort into how it was recorded, um, and trying to make it sound different to what I'd done before, so we concentrated on making it sound more organic, and uh, 
just more healthier and I'd say uh, compared to the previous albums it was a, a, an healthier sound and coming to today I'd say now when I hear Gubbadu Punjab that I even uh, hear you know I could have EQ'd this better I could have mixed it down even better so it was definitely a brilliant step in, the, in, 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 in a new direction and hence like you know leading to tracks up what the down there that which were made uh, recently you know sonically that's on another level and it was the government job that was the turning point the tipping point that made me uh, in, you know look at the sonics of an album you know so that was a new experience for me and TL that was a new experience for us also um, on this album um, I had some nice input from uh, our other team members TL who really helped out on the recording sides and some of the programming um, and also Amo here from Chaos Productions who played the mandolin on the whole album uh, that was a brilliant experience because whenever I'm making music I always have a team of people who, who also listen to the tracks with me and we all put our input in so uh, Amo here and TL had a brilliant input also on the flute we had uh, our friend Wiki who did, who did some nice pieces uh, you know it's always refreshing where when a musician can, can play what I've composed in, in the way that I want it done, so he was able to do that. And also, Pavitar Singh Basra on the Tsarangi, uh, playing on tracks like Hogya Shrabbi and uh, uh, tracks like Banga Bergya, really, uh, really, really nice. So, we've got a small team and it works well. And so, um, the skits on Gobru uh, Pinjavada album. There weren't actually meant to be any skits on the album, you know, but the whole album was done, it was all finished, we had the track listing, we had the whole order done and everything, you know. You know, let's add some more life uh, to the album. And and it was just funny, you know, there was like, I 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 was like, and Panga Pega Khada Tai Bob Badiya Skitta Yanike, it was very immature, you know, nothing serious, it was nothing, you know, amazing, but we just wanted to do something different and add some more life to the album and show a bit more personal character of what we're about, you know, that's all it was, you know. Yeah. Bob Bida Shukrada Karta Yanke Jinna Naunan Bakshia, Apa Banda Mente Karta, but all stamp, you know, people were queuing. You know, trying to get the album, and you know, all the time Buzz Bossy, they were going to the shop asking for the album, and you know, the album at that time, albums weren't selling, and um, or album biggie, you know, people actually bought the physical copies and went to the shops, and you know, a lot of people, I've got the album Good Group and Yalda, you know, it felt really good. It was a buzz, you know. The hardest vocal that I had to record for the album Good Group and Yalda, <laughs> that's an easy, easy one. It was definitely the Bolinga, the JK Bolinga. <laughs> was the hardest vocal. I mean, we had some, I wouldn't say easy vocals, but there were some vocals, you know, that we did in, you know, 20 minutes and, you know, some took a lot longer as well. But yeah, definitely the hardest vocal on Gabru Pinyal album was JK Bunyam, just because of the in depth and, uh, you know, it was so intricate, so different, you know, each each bully was like a separate song, you know. So, um, but that was definitely the hardest vocal. I'd say the biggest challenge on the Gabru Punjab that album from what I can remember was probably Banga Bergia and Hogya Shrabi simply because um, because of the mix downs you know uh, it took ages sorting the doll out and sorting out the percussion on Hogya Shrabi and I'm, I'm a bit disappointed with the end result on Hogya Shrabi because if I made that today I know I, know I could have done a better job so this time I'll get another chance to make something like that in, in a tougher sound. But the getting the sound right on those two songs was very difficult. Um, so I'd say that was probably like the most difficult part of the album. So um, all stem, uh, I remember I said, you know, there's going to be a video uh, for every single uh, song on the album, you know? and uh, which was a big task. And obviously to make, I think is it 11 beat songs, 11 songs on the whole album, it's 11 videos, you know, to make 11 videos is it's a massive project. And, um, but we have got the video made for the Bolinga, we have got the video made for Ekatere Karke, and hopefully we will shoot the video for Jadu one day. But Sanu gap there was a massive gap, you know, and it was like people would probably want something new rather than having the same songs from Gabru Punyabla 
ਦੂਜੀ ਥਿੰਗ ਸੀਗੀ ਉਹ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਸੀਗੀ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਐਦਾਂ ਲੱਗਾ ਤਾਂ ਇਹ ਖੜਾ ਬਿਨ ਅ ਬਿਟ ਮੋਰ ਬੈਟਰ ਸੋ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਸੇਮ ਵਿਦ ਇੱਕ ਤੇਰੇ ਕਰਕੇ ਸੋ ਫਿਊਚਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਗਾਰੰਟੀਡ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਬਣਾ ਕੇ ਹਾਰ ਸ਼ਿੰਗਾਰ ਕੇ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਪ੍ਰੋਪਰ ਨਲਾ ਤੜਾ ਕੇ ਕੱਪੜੇ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਧੀਆ ਪਾ ਪੂ ਕੇ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਇੱਕ ਦਿਨ ਦਿਖਾਉਣੀ ਆ ਸੋ ਵਨ ਟਾਈਮ ਇੱਕ ਦਿਨ ਆਊਗਾ ਮੇਬੀ ਇਨ ਦ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਯੀਅਰ ਔਰ 2 ਇਅਰਸ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਵੀ ਵੁਡ ਡੈਫੀਨਿਟਲੀ ਗੈਟ ਦਮ ਵੀਡੀਓਜ਼ ਆਪ ਬਟ ਯਾ देयर ਆਰ ਵੀਡੀਓਜ਼ ਮੇਡ ਫॉर देम ਸੌਂਗਸ it was a mad journey for me seeing not only did i get to experience the life of a producer who's making an album for a solo artist i also got to witness the life of a singer because i was with him and he's my student so people didn't realize that so i had a lot of mixed reactions to how people were receiving him as an artist and receiving me i was noticing different treatment from media like someone who goes on stage and videos they they sort of uh sort of give them more attention and when i say attention not is not in the sense of you're looking for it's more respect actually i think respect is the word i was notice, noticing people talk differently to him than they were to me so i thought okay so this is how a producer gets treated and this is how an, a, a singer gets treated and i didn't like what i saw which is no fault of of of, of the artist but the media I, i got to see an, an ugly side of the media through releasing jk cuz you know people if they're not going to answer my calls but they'll answer his because he's a singer and i'm thinking are you stupid i'm the guy who i am j- behind jk you know it's uh, you get to see everything i got to see everything i got to see the so- life of a producer and a singer and they're two different things and uh it was interesting so i think even that was had an impact on me okay so i should have been thinking more about the music but it was a brilliant experience as a learning experience so I got to see a lot as we making that album. If I were to go back and if I could change uh, something and and give myself some advice back then, you know what? I wouldn't change anything. You know, I think it was a, a proper learning curve, you know, with the relationships uh between my friends, my staff, um, you know, whatever happened at that time, you know, what we did with the videos, uh what we did with the songs, lyric, uh, you know, the content that we chose, that you know, everything that we we did at that time. I, you know i think it was a whole learning curve you know but uh, i won't change anything you know jo si bane ya us time to bane ya jo time na hunda we probably wouldn't have been here you know in na pyar na marda ya you know marda ya na marda we did, didn't know so i wouldn't change anything you know it's been a blessing from why you know i would always say thank you to you i mean go blue punjab the album like to me um once it was out and actually heard the project I mean, because once we got it all recorded and we got it all mixed down and we took it to mastering purposely intentionally you don't listen to it until it's the release date until it comes out and I remember when we all you know we all hooked up we all linked up and we went to the shop Krishnas mm-hmm. in Derby uh, and so I was listening to it and I was very satisfied with it the feeling that it gave me was a very organic album I know that sounds weird but there's a lot of real like recording in it a lot of recording in this album compared to previous true school albums some funny stories from the album I mean it looks it was funny now but looking back I remember I remember right near the end of the album because things had gotten so late with that album I just set a, an unrealistic deadline you know I was like you know what I'm going to finish this album by this day it better get finished so the last few months I was working like a like a madman uh working long hours and not eating properly not sleeping properly and it got to a point where all all my body had tensed up so bad i remember one night an ambulance had to come in uh, come in uh, i remember jit jit was there i remember what happened was i was working on hogi ashrabi and i remember i got so over focused i mean i was staring at the computer computer screen had the mouse and I was just like this and I probably didn't move for 2 hours in this and then I stopped and I couldn't move my body just seized up I couldn't move so I was like jit I can't move he said like, what do you mean you can't move I go I can't move my neck left right up and down I was just like a statue and it was hurting bad um he went running up telling my wife <laughs> banging the dog something's happened to suck um they come down they had to call an ambulance you know and then you know i think that calling an ambulance and, and you know and him seeing me and, and the medication I had to take to uh, i mean i had to, i was done for about a good week i couldn't do anything i remember that symbolizes i'd say part of the success of the album that 
we've worked hard on that album. We we put everything into that album, and you know, I think it was all worth it at the end of the day. You know, it's not something I'd like to do again, but <laughs> that was one uh, interesting story from the album. You know, we've mentioned um, a bit about the previous album, Gabu Punjabi, but now today's the day we start the new album, uh, JK's second album, and hopefully um, the supporters um, we can uh, deliver another nice product. So yeah, let's see how it goes. Uh. Yeah, so yeah, 100%. I just want to say thank you for giving all the love to Gabru Punjab uh, album. Sadi mentnu tosi you know pyar ditta. Edde tosi pyar karde raho. Jidda sare kalakar kehnde hunde ya assi vi hun keh dinne. Edde pyar karde raho. We're going to try our best on this on this new album. Uh, but yeah, it started.